I had shivers, night sweats, constant bowel and bladder problems, fainted every night, stabbing punching pain, extreme fatigue, headaches, and I could not eat solid foods or walk or bend or leave the house day after day. Honestly, I prayed for the relief of death while my family said it was just a convenient excuse to not work. None of the doctors or their tests could explain so many different symptoms, but this is where the story gets good. That's when I got a phone call that changed my life. There was an opening on the months long wait list to see a pelvic physical therapist if I could make it to the hospital in an hour for an evaluation. The evaluation took about two hours. I didn't realize I had been disassociating from the pain in my pelvis for years, but the exam brought everything to light. I had been asking doctors about my period since my first cycle. The therapist asked me how I would describe my periods. I said excruciating. She asked me if I had heard of endometriosis. I had not. Endometriosis is a disease that affects at least one in 10 women. It has also been found in people assigned female at birth or before puberty or after menopause or in unborn fetuses. It took 18 years of cascading pain for me to find out it had a name. On average, it takes nearly a decade to be diagnosed. Patients are often passed around between specialists or often, especially in BIPOC people, patients' symptoms are ignored by health professionals. Endometriosis is a systemic inflammatory disease characterized by the presence of lesions located outside of the uterus. These lesions are different structurally and behave differently from the lining of the uterus known as the endometrium. The lesions can cause adhesions, fibrosis, and join together or destroy organs. Endometriosis develops its own nerves and blood supply. It produces inflammation and creates its own estrogen and can be resistant to progesterone. The disease can be found anywhere in the body. It can be superficial or deep infiltrating and comes in all types of sizes and colors. It is staged between one and four. However, the severity and the vast array of possible symptoms don't always correlate with disease stage or location. It can and often does cause symptoms throughout the month, not just when menstruating. It is mentioned in the oldest texts with inhumane treatments and a hundred years ago, it was still believed to be a wandering womb or simply hysteria. The pelvic physical therapist empowered me with information and tools to become educated about the disease and told me that the gold standard of treatment was a diagnostic surgery with an expert specialist who knew how to widely excise all possible presentations of endometriosis. It's important to find a true specialist because there are many providers who believe they are endo experts that are in fact not. They may rely on hormones, which may help manage basic symptoms for some, but can be catastrophic for others. Hormones don't treat the lesions and can exasperate the symptoms. These providers may excise in some areas, but not be able to excise advanced endo or excise all the endo, and they often miss identifying the endo or simply ablate, aka burn, a few superficial lesions, which is akin to trying to remove a tree from the ground by burning one leaf. They may believe endometriosis is the same as the tissue in the uterus or caused by retrograde menstruation. It's not. To make matters worse, one in six people with endometriosis have lost jobs due to the disease. 